Okay, now this is the part 5 of the signs. This is the tips. The table below will help you remember the common characteristics of vertebrates. Fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds, mammals, water temperature, cold-blooded, polykilothermic, warm-blooded, homotherapy. Those were the animals. They have the blooded reproduction method, lay eggs, gave birth, fertilization, external, and alternate. Alternal. This one is scale, moist skin, dry scales, feathers, fur, or hair, respiratory organ, gills, gills, young amphibians, lungs, and moist skin, adult amphibians. Those were the lungs. Among these animals, which one feeds milk to their young? And we don't talk about this, but talk about the classification of plants. Plants can be classified into two groups, non-flowering plants and flowering plants. Plants, non-flowering plants and flowering plants. Non-flowering plants can be divided into moss, fern and conifer. This is the non-flowering plants, things like non-vascular and vascular. Non-vascular moss reproduce by producing spores, do not have real leaves, stems and roots. Example, Marcantia sp. Fern reproduced by producing spores have leaves, stems, and roots. Example, Aspanium bulbiferum sp. Conifer reproduced by bearing cones. Seed have true leaves, stems, and roots. Example, pine tree and spruce. Flowering plants are plants that produce flowers. Flowering plants reproduce through their seeds. These plants can be classified based on the number of cotyledons in the seed, which are monocotyledon, one cotyledon, or dicotyledon, two cotyledons. Monocotyledon and dicotyledon are different in terms of the shape of leaf veins, type of roots, number of cotyledons and stem. This is monocotyledon. Characteristics have one cotyledon, have fibrous roots. Most of them have non woody stems, have leaves with parallel veins, petals in multiples of three. Example coconut tree, sugarcane tree, orchid, banana plant and oil palm tree. So see you guys in chapter two part one and bye.